Hey, this is Connor from Omni. I wanted to show you how you can use Excel formulas to do calculations and analysis in Omni. We know most folks are comfortable using spreadsheets, so we wanted to make sure that that's a core interaction path in Omni as well. Whether you're a finance or ops Excel whiz, or you're an analyst or developer who just wants to do something quick without using SQL and without jumping into your data model. Okay, so let's start off in our workbook interface. I'm gonna grab a few fields from the field picker. I'll grab date, I'll grab total revenue and total cost. And what I wanna do here is just a really simple profit metric by subtracting the total cost from the total revenue. So we'll go ahead and insert a column to the right and I'll just do B1 minus C1. And there we go, there's our profit metric. I can rename it to be profit as well. And you'll see that this is one-to-one -one Excel syntax, so it's exactly the same uh, formula that you would use in a spreadsheet. We can also do more things here. Another common one would be a row over row calculation. So in this case, like a day over day percent change. So if I wanted to do that, I would just add a new column. I'll start in this second cell here and I'll do D2 minus D1 over D1. There we go, there's our day over day percentage change. Um, if you're familiar with SQL, you know that this can be a real pain to do with window functions. So it's nice just to have the option to be able to do it with um, spreadsheet formulas. You can also use AI to help you write these formulas. So over here, we have this little AI calculations helper. So if you want some help writing your formula, you can just type in a prompt here. So if I wanted to write that same calculation, I could just do uh, calculate the day over day percent change in column D. And there we go, Excel is gonna write, or AI is gonna write that Excel formula for us. One thing I wanted to point out too is that this, uh, these calculations are uh, interoperable with other operations in Omni. So for example, if you wanted to pivot this by order status, you can see this calculation being done by these order status pivot groups. Let me reorder there, so it's a little easier to see. Um, and you can see that this profit metric is being calculated by order status pivot group. So this is the profit per orders that are currently processing. Under the hood, this is all SQL that's being generated. So this looks a little bit complicated, but we're just translating Excel syntax into um, SQL, and then we're writing that down to your database. So if you ever want to see the raw SQL that's being written down to your database, you can pop up in this inspector here. And because we have this SQL understanding of the fields and the calculations you're doing, we can actually promote these metrics so that they exist beyond just this initial calculation that you've done. So let me go ahead and clear these out to make it a little bit easier to see. And let's say I wanted to calculate this profit metric um, to be more broadly available. This profit metric might be um, helpful to others. So I can go ahead and hit promote to workbook here. And that's going to add that profit field to my field picker here. You'll see it's even um, defining this as a SQL metric where it's taking the total sale price or the total uh, revenue field minus the total cost field. And if you wanted to go even further, and if you have the permissions to do this, you can also make it so that this profit field is available in your shared data model. So that means anytime op someone opens up a new workbook, they'd also have access to this profit field. So all of these features make it so that you can quickly iterate on your data and then push what's useful back to the rest of your organization or just back to the workbook so that you can use it as you're doing more analysis. One more use case I wanted to show here is joining data between tabs. So if you're familiar with spreadsheets, you might do this with XLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, even an index match here or there. Um, and you can do that using XLOOKUP in Omni as well. So here we have our profit data, but let's say I wanted to look at this data alongside our user acquisition data, for example. So I can open a new tab here, and I'll go to our user acquisition topic, which is a curated set of data around user acquisition. And I'll grab the created at date, as well as the user's count. And then actually let me add a filter as well, so it's on the same uh, time as the other query. Okay, great. So now uh, we have these two data sets and it's a little bit difficult to join these uh, two results. It's a little bit awkward to join like on a date um, when these tables don't have much other, um, have much of an other relationship. So um, here we can just do XLOOKUP to join those two uh, results together and then we can plot them on the same chart. 
So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and insert a column to the right here. And I'll do xlookup. I'll look up this date in this query in the first column. And then I'll grab the result from the fourth column, which is our profit field. And there we go. There's our profit calculation. Um, and then I can move to the chart visualization and see these plotted side by side. And I'll actually just move the profit to the right side so that we can see them on the same axis. Um, and we can see that they generally look correlate. So that's just a few ways to use these calculations in Omni. We have a bunch more functions and formulas you can check out in our docs. Um, and you'll notice that a lot of these are very familiar from spreadsheets. So you can bring those workflows into Omni as well. I also wanted to take a second to show you some of our team's favorite applications of calculations because they open up a bunch more um, kind of fun use cases that you can do. One of them is visualizations. So one of our designers, Sarah, recreated a custom dashboard using Markdown in Omni. She created this really cool um, user and average sales trend dashboard. And this tile card here is actually built off of calculations. So let me open up that tile. Um, and here's the tile that was generated, but under the hood, all of those metrics are actually um, calculations. So if I scroll here, there's min, there's max, there's a few subtractions, there's even some if statements here that's being used to uh, define what the visualization looks like. And then if I pop up in the chart view itself, let me make this bigger. If I scroll down here, you can see that these those results, those calculations are actually being referenced in the markdown dynamically. And you can uh, use this little helper that we've built so that you can out automatically insert the results from your results tab into the visualiz visualization using Markdown. Um, and a few more fun use cases I wanted to show you are with the AI calculations helper that I showed you earlier. So let me pop open a new tab. And I'll show you a use case where you can identify outliers using Calc's AI. It's one of my favorite uh, use cases. I'll do created at date and total revenue. And let me increase the uh, number of days here just so we have a little bit more data to look at. So here I'm gonna ask AI to help me identify some outliers. So I'm gonna say uh, create a Boolean field that tells me if each day's sales is an outlier or not. Awesome. So I wrote this if statement for us um, using the actual definition of an outlier. I probably could have figured out how to write that, but it's really nice to have AI just do that for me. And then I, I can actually visualize this. So if I make this into a scatter plot, you can see those outliers plotted very clearly here. I could change the color of these to be even more obvious. So let's do red and green. And now we can see those outliers um, very clearly on this chart. The last thing I wanted to show you is a very kind of unconventional use of calculations. Um, let me pop open a new tab. I'll go to our user acquisition data and I'm gonna grab state actually, and I'm gonna filter by US. Okay, awesome. Um, so one manual use case you might find yourself doing is uh, kind of translating data from one thing to another, and it might be a lot of manual work to do that. In this case, you might need the two-letter abbreviation of each state, um, and that's a little bit tricky to do or hard to find a data set for, and you can ask AI to help you do this, actually. So um, it might take a little while to figure out the right prompt, but here we can say using an if statement, give me the two-letter abbreviation of each state. We'll give that a second to run. And there we go. Um, I wrote this very, very long if statement converting each of these state full names into two letter abbreviations. And you can imagine if you had some data in a spreadsheet somewhere that was based off of the two letter abbreviation, you could bring it in, into Omni and then do this conversion so that you could actually join the tables together. Okay, so that was just a brief overview of how you can use Excel calculations in Omni. Um, we're excited to continue building these spreadsheet workflows. Um, one of the projects we have going right now is bringing real spreadsheets into Omni. So you can see that this looks and feels just like a spreadsheet. And then you can do some cool things to actually make it look and present like a financial statement or other use cases that you might have. Um, and this is coming very soon. 
If these Excel style calcs are something that you and your team would be interested in, please reach out to us. We would love to show you more.